What's up guys, it's Vax, and I have another VOD review to do. I missed it, I actually missed, this was sent to me a while ago, so excuse the older footage, but obviously this person sent it to me during Season 6. It's Marinated, you guys would know him if you've come to the stream, Marinated is in there a lot, but a lot of, you really, nothing really, I mean obviously there's been a change into Season 7, but there really, you don't really need to change much on how you play. So, I'm still going to look at this video looking at it as if we are talking about Season 7. Um, so, there might be some things that are different, but for the most part, nothing really changed. So, let's get right into it. Looks like he's at Skyhook. I miss Skyhook. I'll be excited to get back to World's Edge. I'm loving Olympus, though. But I, I will be excited to go back to uh, World's Edge. Let's see what he's got. Alternator, Flatline. See, he's not throwing any uh, traps in this building, and this is a situation where it's okay one way or the other. If you're like, if you're not throwing traps, that's okay. If you were throwing Next traps here, that's fine too. But it doesn't really matter, especially if he knows he's leaving because he's just looting and they just drop. I know a lot of people just throw traps every building they go into. You don't really need to do that, but it, do it doesn't hurt anything unless you get run up on and you don't have enough traps to actually fight people. So, you don't have to. Let's see if we can get to some action here. Because it looks like right now they're just looting. Oh, they're fighting. Oh, dude, I absolutely hate it when people are in the middle there and you're on this building and they just snipe. I hate that. Nice little rampart there. Pop it. Oh, see, if a rampart's setting up like that, you just shoot. Just shoot it once. R like, remove them from being able to do that. But I see you got uh, traps down in front of the door, and you got a trap down in front of the elevator shaft, so that's good. And man's just playing with a revenant. All right, they're about to revenant push. And he put a trap at the end of it. I guess, uh, I don't really know if you really need to do that if it's not an enemy revenant. It's a good ult on the other side too so it would force them to take cover Ooh, that was good dude if if let me go back that was nice it would force them by putting it there to hide on these sides because the ramparts ramparts ability actually uh stops gas i'm pretty sure even if you're in the middle of a gas uh, alt it would stop it i don't have a lot of experience with that so i can't speak on it uh, you don't fight a lot of ramparts uh generally speaking and when i have fought them i've never really had to deal with their walls but i've definitely been talked to about it by uh rampart mains and people who play rampart or just have seen it but putting it there forces them to hide from the gas on the side of the wall where you could stand on the other side and shoot through it for even more damage and they couldn't shoot back to you so that was just a dime ultimate right there they and they they're stuck they're stuck they have to walk backwards out this way this would only be even better now with the new change. See, and he's got some, you can see it there in the, even though he's in the gas, he's crouch spamming like crazy. People ask me all the time if crouch spamming is important on console for caustic. It's important all the time. It's important no matter what you're playing, no matter who you're playing and no matter what platform you're playing on, it is important. So yes, definitely, definitely do that. So that was good. He was he he dodged a lot of damage too. He only took half the bar of damage because of that. And he's got ulti accelerants there to get his uh, ultimate back if he's if he so desires to do that. And he's uh, crouch spamming while he's looting too. Who and somebody's on his gas back in the building? Or no, they're on the totem. Ooh, I eat my words. It ended up it ended up working out there. But in normally you don't have to put one there. See here, I would I would be healing. I would probably be focusing on healing. He did get the knock though, but you, you're gonna get third party here for sure. What is that, a Watson? Yeah. And she's pushing. Ooh, his teammate should be here. Oof. Oh, that's a rip. Um, we got a shroud video coming up. Yeah, in this situation, I, I would have healed. I, I definitely would have healed before I slid down, even if I had a knock, because 
they're going to be hurt. You're going to be able to full heal by the time they by the time they they res that person and they'll still be hurt. You and your teammates should have healed here for sure before you pushed in. But other than that, I mean, this was a short clip, only 4 minutes, but the ultimate you had here was really good. That was a really nice one, especially you were reading who you were fighting against. And I think that's where that shows that a lot. Look at how stuck these guys are, man. Even now, uh, with the more damage, oh boy, and pushing right in like that after, you don't, you wouldn't even have to push in. You could stay on the outside of the gas and just shoot them. That was a, that was a good ultimate. Um, a little bit of a mistake here at the end, and it cost you guys the game, but hey, it happens. Other than that, I thought that was a really good uh, ultimate, and it was a pretty short clip. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope that touch a little bit marinated. I appreciate you sending that clip in. Guys, I hope you guys are enjoying the buff Costa got in Season 7. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I'll be making a video shortly uh, on a guide for Caustic for Season 7 to explain some stuff about him because clearly everyone thinks he's this horrible, awful legend now. Or half half of the Caustic community thinks he's really bad. And I want to make a video explaining why he's not. So, other than that, I hope you guys have a good one. And I'll see you in the next video.